we finished third, which means, which means, Chad, we are in the Champions League proper. We're in the Champions League proper. Champions League league phase. Uh, we do not have to go through qualifying like Lee, all those freaking losers. Maybe they should have scored eight more goals. You know what I'm saying? Like, what's up, homie? What's up? Maybe they should have scored a few more goals. And Nice did win the uh, did win the league on the final day. First winner that's not PSG in eight years. One, two, three, four. Yeah, in eight years. First winner that's not PSG. Nice won it on the final day with a win on the final day. So Jude Bellingham and company denied a title. But interestingly enough, I am now a huge deal in the managerial world. I mean, let's be honest. I always was. <laughs> no. But um, I, I'm a huge deal in the managerial world, which means we would only be taking massive job offers. We also do have some USA games just to keep his company over the summer. So we're either going to be dealing with transfers with St. Etienne or we're going to be getting a new job. I don't know what's going to happen. You know, and I've got the street cred. I've been managing in uh, a top European league for a year now and produced a very good result. I've played 265 matches and won 201 of them in my managerial career. Do you know how insanely good that is? Wait, I have a win percentage of 75%. In 265 career matches as a manager. Do you know how absurd that is? 75.8%. It's not even rounding. 201 wins in 265 matches. In 265 matches, I have just 36 losses as a manager. Goals for next season. No idea. I'd like to talk about legal aims for next season. Okay. We would show everyone we're made of and put in a strong league campaign. I agree. I hope you'll have a good break. Come back and we're looking for a conference league finish next year. Is that okay? Or are you going to hate me? Cool. That's uh, wow. I, I have a, I have the pulse of this team down right now. Um, I don't want to, I have no idea what our expectations are for champions league. So I just won't say anything. If that's cool. Signing of the season was Vladan Kovacevic. Uh, you didn't think our new was a good signing you didn't think louise tor oh they did the delighted with the deal to sign torres is due to getting the player to agree to a lower salary than would be expected to pay for somebody of his ability okay and same thing to joao martins who had a real good year warren bondo literally for free Ew. okay all right oh no 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 go back i wanted to see this because this is going to show you how good we were in the back part of the season, dude. Look at how freaking good we were in the back part of the season compared to the start of the season. If we can keep that same type of energy going, like seriously, we were electric. The board was obviously crazy pleased. We sold out 73% of our stadium, which should be going up next year because, you know, European matches and everything. Coupe de France, they were, uh, the board's pleased. Obviously, we only made the semifinal, but we did win four matches, including beating Lille in the quarterfinal, so can't hate on me too much. Match to remember? Dude, obviously, it was at PSG, 90th minute, Vladan Kovacevic. Pedro Bravo apparently scored the goal of the season. But what I want to relive, 90th minute in Paris, this was the match of the season. Vladan Kovacevic, baby. Wow. Well, let's go watch the goal of the season. Pedro Bravo against Montpellier. Yeah, I get that. That is an incredible distance. He's like 35 yards out when he hits that ball. That's a deserved goal of the season. That's an incredible goal. Dude. I would not have guessed that Torres was our best-selling jersey. Then shelter up Martins, Mokowena, and Van den Bowman. Bro, our top goal scorer was Luis Torres. I had no idea. Rodier had 14 assists, by the way. What a season for Rodier. He got most ma player of the match awards, highest average rating, and most passes completed was Jean Martins, which is incredible for a playmaker. Uh, most goals by a player in a match, and obviously that record's Luis Torres. Most assists by a player in a season, Rodier with 14. 
And he broke the player of the match award record as well. But I did not know Torres ended up on 14 goals was the best mark that we had from anybody. Player interested in United? I No, they might have fired their coach midseason or whatever. I don't know. But to the job center. So Luis Enrique was just hired away by Liverpool. I didn't know that job was available. Uh, but they hired him away immediately. And now Bayern's, I mean, look, Chad, are we going to get the Bayern job? Probably not. But if we're talking about how quickly can we get to the top of the game, Bayern is about as top as you can get, dude. Check the odds. I mean, there's no way we're the favorite. That would be Job Center, Germany. Graham, Graham Potter, shut up. It's not Graham. Oh, he, he's the guy that got fired by Liverpool. The odds say they're going to switch. He went from Chelsea to Villarreal to Juventus to Liverpool for a year. They finished fifth and he got canned. But he also has a higher reputation than me. Yes, I did. I did call that. Uh, that was actually on Sports Center Top Ten uh, that night, which was a very, very cool, surreal experience to hear my voice on Sports Center Top Ten. But that, yes, that was me. The Grant Kersey three. All right, I just won head coach of the season at thirty-three years old. And uh, what? Uh, what? We've only managed for six seasons, bro. We've only managed for six seasons. An interview. That doesn't mean anything. We've had a lot of interviews and been rejected. But we are at least one of the top candidates. Uh, Jean-Christian Dreesen, hi. I am, what, what, sorry, what club is this interview for again? Um, Heiser Slaughtered? No, oh, it says, sorry, it says Bayern Munich. My bad. Uh, Jan Christian, I I got confused. Can you ease our concerns of never previously managing in this country? Uh, I've I've managed a lot of other countries. I think it'd be, you know, I've literally managed like right near you twice, Netherlands and France. On your border, two separate times. I'm basically German. Uh, yes, is this Paris FC? I spent, uh, so what is it? Having never managed a club of our stature and reputation, are you able to make a convincing case as to why that should be overlooked uh, that you should be hired. I spent the majority of my career building up considerable experience with smaller clubs in preparation for an opportunity with a bigger team. I hope I get that chance here. Can't hide the fact that I, uh, I've been waiting for the right opportunity to step up to the big time, and I sincerely hope that I get the chance to work here. I've never been given the opportunity to manage a truly big club. Now, I'll, I'll go with that. I've spent the majority of my career building up considerable experience with smaller clubs to prepare for this opportunity. You've done some highly impressive work at your job. Why would you want to move on? Uh, time for me to take the next step. I've been seeking a new challenge. Now I feel like I've taken them as far as I can and that all parties would be best served by a change of scenery. I believe I'm in the uh, position to take the positive momentum I've built up recently and use it to hit the ground running here. That sounds good, actually. I'll do that. Can you offer us assurances that uh, you have what it takes to make the jump to managing a club as big as... Look, Jan Christian, you're not that big, all right? Jeez, just talking about how big you are all the time. It's nonsense. Like my body of work proves I deserve the uh, opportunity to step up and manage a much bigger team. Uh, I'm going to say I'm ambitious, dude. I want to work at the very highest level. I want to be given the opportunities such as this one. Ambition's a big part of this, uh, and I that's what I want. Can you tell me how you'd handle the workload of managing a club and national team? Um, my international commitments, they just don't take up too much time, to be honest. <laughs> Why have you felt it acceptable to apply for a number of jobs? Um no, no reason. Can I work with Christoph Freund? Oh, uh, yeah, Christoph's a good general manager. I, I'd be happy to do that. I understand the importance of having a good coaching staff. Uh, yeah, we'd want to hit the ground running here. I'll take oh either decent or small budget, but they're filthy rich. I feel like we could go decent budget to rebuild our coaching staff in my image.
No, I don't want to resign. I don't want to resign the U.S., dude. I mean, obviously, if they came to me and they're like, resign from the U.S. so you don't get the job, I'd do that. But I don't think it's going to make a bit much of a difference, dude. I'll do small. Do you have any thoughts on the long-term vision? Sign players based in Germany. Sign German players. Play attacking. Develop players. Play entertaining. Uh, maintain the club's status as the most reputable team in Europe and Germany as the biggest club in the world. Holy, dude, I've never seen that. <laughs> maintain the club's status as the biggest club in the world. Hi. Sell players for profit, work within the payroll. But yeah, I mean, a lot, that ambition gets me rocking and rolling. I'm ready. All right, Jan Christian, we are uh, we're on the clock, baby. And we're on U.S. duty while that uh, decision's being made. Yeah, but the only job that's opened up was Bayern because Luis Enrique left Bayern to go take charge at Liverpool for whatever reason. Maybe they offered him more money or something. Monaco's opened up, but they finished in sixth. Lawn's opened up, and they finished in fifth, but we finished ahead of both of them. No real reason to go crazy there, but yeah, I, I don't think anybody could blame me for taking the Bayern Munich job. That means going into the seventh uh, move, we'd be in good spot. Our seventh season, we would have somehow climbed to this position already. Uh, Polisic? Yeah, we'll go Polisic and Tyler Adams. All right. I recommend those stay the same. I agree. Oh, and we signed Juan Sforza. All right, so this guy would not matter at all at Bayern, but he is important for Saint at the end if we don't get the Bayern job. So the reason that he, him not mattering at Bayern at all means that we are perfectly happy cinching this deal to get Juan Sforza from Palermo and help round out our team for European competitions. I'm aware that even if we play one more season with Saint at the end, that'll just be us biding our time until we go to a huge club trying to obviously produce an incredible season and win the league and, you know, maybe contend for a Champions League. But, all right, so we have Nicaragua and Dominica to round out. Uh, how many matches do we got? Four. And you just play everybody once, okay. The early rounds of World Cup qualifying, of course. And we are, uh, you know, I'm, I'm telling the assistant coaches to just kind of check my phone, see if there's a... Uh, a text coming in, you know, a text from a, a certain board member at Bayern Munich that would want to give us the job and, you know, become the leader of the biggest club in the world after just six years. All right, World Cup qualifying in CONCACAF. I know you guys in Europe don't get to deal with this. In South America, you don't get to deal with this either. But in, like, Africa and Asia, they have to deal with this as well. You play the early rounds, and you're playing against some pretty bad teams. <laughs> Any job offers? No, only only one job we would want, which is Bayern Munich. Now that we're up to four-star reputation and have a Continental Pro, I, I don't think we're moving to South America anymore. They missed their chance to have the greatest coach of all time join them. They did. They missed their chance. Because I only have two adaptability, and so the Brazilian teams and the Argentine teams were worried about my ability to adapt to living and managing in the country even though that shouldn't be a concern considering I won a bunch of trophies in South Africa and then won in the Netherlands and got a team promoted in France. Shouldn't be a major concern. But. And we uh, just got an interview for Bayern after just six years. Yeah, you, uh, can you manage a national team in a club IRL? I actually don't know. I'm sure there's an example of somebody doing it somewhere, but I've never, I, I don't know of it, of that example. Uh, Rostov in Russia, Valera Karpin. Okay, so it, it happens more frequently, I guess, than I am aware of. And now we get to play Dominica. Awesome. Can't wait. I don't want to pop... <sighs> They hired Mikel Arteta from Arsenal. Wait, that means Arsenal's open. They just won the Premier League three years in a row. Why did he leave, dude? 
They've literally won the Prem three years in a row. Their wage budget's even bigger than Bayern's. We're back on! <laughs> it's like the freaking knock on a, you know, the butterfly effect of Bayern hiring Arteta is now we're in for Arsenal. After a decade at Arsenal and winning three titles in a Champions League, he was looking to move on, maybe looking for a new challenge. He takes the job to go to Bayern Munich. I can't blame them for making that hire. They were able to poach a manager that's won three consecutive Premier League titles. But maybe that club's interested in uh, promoting somebody to the ranks of world-class manager, shall we say? Well, we just got a job offer from Monaco. Uh, you know, I, I, who, well, Monica wants me that badly. I mean, that's, they've got my attention. Come on. Their payroll's like basically mine. I realize Monica is a bigger club than Saint at the end, but they don't have a lot more money. I'm going to, I'm going to have to decline that. All right. We are playing, dude, Mexico's playing in Guila. Like I, uh, this whole new qualifying is fun for some people, but. For nations like Anguilla that get to play like in the Azteca, but I'm literally playing at Dominica. Like, where do they play? Oh, yeah, that actually looks really cool. I'm sorry, that looks awesome. That's a beautiful looking stadium. Never mind. That looks really fun. I guess that's Dominica's just like national stadium. Didn't mean to insult your stadium, Dominica. I would love to watch a match there. That looks like a really nice tropical place to play. Onward and upward, lads. We are playing in Windsor Park against Dominica. Expect nothing but a win from this match and a perfect round of qualifying. Well, Trinidad and Tobago is guaranteed a trip to the next round. So have we. This is just a chance to get a cap, feel out our tactics. Yeah, it looks multi-purpose. I mean, when you think about, like, the Caribbean islands, there are actually a lot of people per square mile, but there's not a lot of land, and so they're not able to build a ton of stadiums outside of, like, Jamaica and the Dominican Republic and Haiti, right? They're not allowed to build... They just don't have the room to build a lot of stadiums. And so... With a lot of them, like if you're playing it like in Tigua and Barbuda, there'll be like a big national stadium, like a 15,000 seater that has a track around it. Like it's this, it's the national stadium for big national events to, you know, a concert or whatever, like to take place. Oh, and it's Pulisic and it's McKinney. Oh. You know, I was worried up until we scored that third goal. The comeback was on for Dominica, who might have, like, two players in the National League in England. The comeback was on. Yeah, Dominica is far from the worst Caribbean nation, but they're also far from the best. So they, uh, they, they've they never, I don't think, have ever made the last round of qualifying in CONCACAF. If they appeared... Tebow Light, thank you for the seven months also. Thank you for supporting the stream, my dude. I appreciate it. Enjoy your bacon. Enjoy your emotes. Enjoy this goal from uh, Della Torre, wall pass. Oh! Still want the guys to get hurt. We got Johnny in, Erjan Selman I. Will you? Do, 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 do. Well done, guys. Good win. That's just, we call that taking care of business. Just show up and get the win. Oh, what the hell, dude? What? What is Mexico? What is this draw? What? The hell are we in the same group with Mexico for World Cup qualifying? The next group is Jamaica, Trinidad, El Salvador, Canada, and A is Curacao, Guatemala, Panama, and Suriname. Shut up. Seriously. Just swap, like, Curacao and Mexico, and it would be perfect. But you had to just... Oh, my God, this freaking draw. We've got an offer in for Andreas Shelderup. $29 million up front, $12 million in installments, $4.2 million extra. I think Villa got Champions League, too, so there's really nothing we can... Oh, no, they're not in Europe. 
Oh, they got Europe with the freaking coefficient nonsense, dude. All right. Uh, Shelly is under contract, though, through 2033, so he can kick and scream all he wants, but I'm going to say no because that's low. That's low on his value. That, that's low on his value. So it's Shelly and Schumacher for $100 million and then buy beasts. Hmm. It is an interesting proposition, but I don't know if we'd be able to turn around and sell Shelly to... We didn't even get a freaking interview, dude. They said they loved the way I played a possession style, but they didn't like how I didn't emphasize set pieces. Yeah, I uh, didn't even make the short list. So when they hire somebody, maybe another job opens up for us, but I, I didn't make the short list. But that reputation better get up to three and a half now, now that the season turns over. It better. We better have three and a half star reputation or I'm going to be upset. We got our TV rights. So is it reset? Yes. I'm going to hit continue one more time. We're going to get to the 21st and freaking make sure that we're three and a half stars. If we're three and a half stars, I'm very likely to stay with St. Etienne. If we're three, then Lons is more appealing because it's just a much bigger club in the eyes of everybody. Okay, we're on the 21st. Let's go look at our rep. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Our highest finish in league all since, uh, who even knows, dude, since they won it in 1981, we have not been in the top three. That's pretty incredible. So we pulled out something really incredible for the club, for the city.